You know what I hate? When I sit down to watch some YouTube videos, coffee in hand, snack at the ready, all good to go. Then I hit play, and up pops an ad that I can't skip. Well great, now what am I going to do with the next 12 seconds of my life? Oh hey, it's over. We're good to go now. Yay. Rochelle from Missouri wants to know... That is how I say your name, right? Well, either way. Rochelle asks, Steve, I do not have a good father figure. What do I do to get an example of one or someone who can give me good advice? Father figure, eh? Wow. I'm pretty sure that in 2017 we called that dad bod. Dad bod, father figure. Dad bod, father figure. Okay, moving along. If you need someone to be a good role model for you, give you great advice, and tell you really lame jokes, and you can't find anyone around who's a suitable candidate, I suggest taking the route of Dr. Frankenstein and simply making your own. <laughs> Whoa. Simply take the traits you see in others that you would desire in a father figure and blend them all together into one. Traits such as intelligence, Someone reasonable and logical. Someone with a sense of humor. And of course, someone you can trust. And you just put them all together. The result would probably look something like this. On second thought, maybe patching things up with your dad would be a better idea. Of course, if he's not an option, I'd suggest finding a good, reputable person in your life and getting to know them better. Whoa. Did I just actually give some real advice? Weird. Rochelle has one more question. Anything to forget that last horror. If you ask a man the same question, but phrased three different ways, and you get three different answers, you can tell he's lying. What is an example of a question that you can ask in three different ways? Oh. Here is a question that you can ask in three different ways, and get completely different answers, depending on how you ask it. Number one, what do you think of this outfit? Number two, these pants and this top, do they go together? And three, the very dreaded, does this make me look fat? See, ladies, you already know good and well that outfit looks great. That those pants and that top should never be seen together. And as for the last question, I'm not touching that with a 39 and a half foot pole. It's the same question each time, but the way you ask it will actually influence our answer. That's very sneaky. I'm kind of afraid of you. Well, that's gonna do it for today. As always, thanks for asking, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Bye. There, now that we're actually recording the audio. And the video. Do one of those. And let's start again.